It might also include the act of pouring hot wax over the injured animals. That is guys, it's Igbara Roman here getting another video and as you guys know I am all about language, culture and travelling and whilst I would like to know all different cultures in the world it is simply not possible for various reasons but here we'll be experiencing from a second hand perspective vicariously some of the most horrifying traditions that still exist around the world okay, heads or tails I've not is that a child? a Muslim shrine in Maharashtra India practices baby tossing for good luck What? It involves tossing newborn babies off the edge of a 15 meter high wall of shrine onto an extended sheet held by men standing on the ground YOU MANIAC! Take the pain away How is this even how is this even humanly possible? Alright, so extreme cheek piercing at Phuket Vegetarian Festival in Thailand. It's one of the most painful traditions still in existence. Well, no shit. It is said that it helps them obtain good health and peace of mind. Mm, okay. So, oh, you're gonna just be stabbing with a knife through my jaw and you're telling me that's gonna bring me peace of mind. I mean, even when um peeling something or cutting something and I cut myself, it's like ah. Ah. The festival celebrates the abstinence from meat-based products during the ninth lunar month of the Chinese calendar Mass songs are the people who send invitation to God to possess their bodies The people are retarded The tradition is rumored to be an adaptation of Thai Puzam the belief is that since they are possessed, they will not feel the pain of piercing their cheeks with serrated metal bars. Get some help. Fire walking. Is this a person? The Japanese Shinto Buddhist practice of fire walking is called Hiwatari Shinji. It is celebrated in Akibasan, Ensuji Shrine, on the second Sunday of every December. Qualified priest of the Ensuji will walk. A qualified priest of the Ensuji will walk over flame, flaming embers. It is a common belief that this ritual provides a spiritual cleanse and psychological clarity. Let's see if there's a video on YouTube. Why would I in my right mind do this? To all those who do it, kudos to you, man. Good job. Next is don't let go. Is that a corpse? <laughs> On an Indonesian island called Suwalesi, uh, the corpse of the dead resides with the family. What? First of all, that's unhygienic. They consider that the life of the person can be prolonged by keeping them with the living and is comparable to living with a sick person. Oh, it's not! The financial conditions of family determine the period of the stay for the dead. It is usually between several weeks to years. That's it. I had enough. I would not I would not do this. That's crazy. So if you're poor, I suppose then you would have this person in your house longer. Okay. Wedding bondage. I don't like the name already. Oh my god. So weddings in the Indonesian Thaidon community have some pretty unique traditions. An adorable one is that the groom has to sing a love song. To be able to see his bride's face. <laughs> On the bizarre side, the newlyweds are not permitted to use the bathroom, <laughs> the bathroom for three days. Oh, the bathroom for three days and nights. First of all, I can't go a day without using the bathroom. <laughs> and also ingest a restricted diet after their wedding. This is done to avoid bad luck. Unhappy marriage, infidelity, and death of their firstborn. Okay, um, okay, okay, okay. The dead leave with the fingers of living. The Dani people of Papua, Indonesia, uh, follow a strange funeral ritual 
the living amputates their fingers to show love for the dead. Hell no, to the no, no, no. The fingers are buried in the ground along with their loved ones. They believe it to be the best way to show grief and let the dead know their influence on the living. Okay. Cannibalism. Cannibalism is something humans um, just can't seem to get rid of. The criminalization of the act seemingly, seemingly isn't enough to stop people from doing it. The Korowai tribe of New Guinea, or Guinea, Indonesia is the body of their healer on their death. <laughs> if y'all were, were on an island trying to survive, <laughs> maybe I could see y'all trying to vote CUT first. We need to figure out how we're going to survive here. So uh, also the Yanomami tribe of Amazon participates in cannibalism. They prepare a mixture of the bone dust of the dead and consume it in a banana soup after 45 days. What the hell is wrong with you, you sick bastard? And exactly after a year, they will consume the ashes left behind after cremation. Oh, you nasty. Blood fiestas. Okay, this sounds like something Spanish. Blood fiesta is still a thing even after thousands of petitions, rallies, court cases, blah, blah, blah. Blood fiestas are celebrations that are dedicated to killing and torture. What? For the practice, including but not limited to chasing bulls and then stabbing them to death with sharp objects. God damn you all to hell! It might also include the act of pouring out wax over the injured animal um first of all i am disgusted so if you're going to kill an animal eat it kill the animal quickly make it some just do it get over it but don't torture i think torturing animals is quite inhumane i uh, it's it's sickening disgusting to be honest severing the tongue in this ancient asian tradition the teenage girls are dressed up in beautiful outfits uh the day marks the transition of the girl into womanhood. Having your boobs growing, that woman scent or puberty scent and all those other things isn't proof enough that you're into womanhood. And prepares her to be a good wife. Her tip of the tongue is cut off to ensure a happy marriage in the field. Are you serious? If the girl's ever saying it, and they can choose to say no and live their life, okay, fine. But if this is something that's forced, so wait, what happens? To, what happens to guys? Like, are you saying that oh, because you're so what? So the girl needs to do that to be a good wife. But what does the man need to do to be a good husband? Cobra gold. So it's like an adult adult day camp. So there are around um, thirteen thousand um, military members from Thailand, United States, Singapore, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea, and Malaysia. The goal is to prepare soldiers to survive the wilderness. Few of the strange exercises performed by these men are hunting a cobra and then drinking its blood, learning to bite the head off of a chicken using only your teeth and eating scorpions. I mean, if you're in the wild, you have to do what you have to do, but I'm pretty sure that you can find a rock to cut off the head. I don't know, but I don't think you'd be so far away in the wilderness that you won't have a knife. I don't know, but... Eh. I think well, guys, anyway, so that is my list of the, some of the most where there's horrifying traditions that still exist are what is your opinion um which was the worst for you the most shocking and um do you know of any other traditions that are weird maybe in your country or maybe you just know about them generally anyways whatever the case guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did <laughs> give this video a thumbs up uh don't forget to drop a comment please i would really appreciate it share with a friend just one person just one person no more um subscribe and see you guys next time Ciao.